Hey guys, what's up? We're back with episode 3 of Skyrim. So a couple things have changed. Um, first of all, there's a quest that we are doing. I have done a few things off camera. I don't worry, I did not do any quests. I did not, um, do I have not, you know, advanced at all, um, in any of these quest lines at all. I just did a few side things. I did a few of these miscellaneous objectives, pretty much, because I was bored and I was at my, uh, I was at a fam family member's house and I could not record and I wanted to play a little bit of Skyrim so that's what I did. It's pretty cool um, since Steam will transfer your file online so I could play with this character on their computer so that was pretty cool. But anyway, um, I did talk to this guy because I was turning in a side objective to him and I by accident I progressed the story. So what happens is I now just need to go to talk to Tolfdeer. Also in case you haven't noticed already I'm not actually using a mouse. Um, I got a wired Xbox controller well, I've had a wired Xbox controller for a long time, but um, I'm using it now. So, that's it's, it's so much nicer just playing with a controller instead of playing with a nice mouse and keyboard. Um, mouse and keyboard might be great in some situations. Some people might enjoy it, but I just like the controller so much more. So, anyway, it, it makes the game a little bit easier for me. But anyway, so let's talk to Tolft here. Always encouraging to see the younger generations embracing education. Yeah, yeah. Does he have information about our wonderful discovery? Night of Tears. Is that the one about something buried beneath Sarthal? Something that men and Nair fought over? I'll have to make a point of rereading it. I don't recall the details. I just can't seem to tear myself away. Whatever this is, its beauty is like nothing I've ever seen before. If you'd allow me to indulge myself for a moment, I thought I might make a few observations. I'm sure you've already noticed the marking. They're quite unlike it. So I ha I did turn up the um, character's voice volume a bit, so you should be able to actually hear them. I noticed in the first couple episodes it was pretty hard to hear the NPCs talking, so you should be able to hear them now. I also turned up the, um, what's it called, the draw distance on characters, um, so it's not like they'll appear when you're walking to a room halfway, so that's going to be nice as well. Anyway, Archmage Aaron is already hard at work, and hopefully we'll have more information soon. I'm trying not to interrupt these guys too I'm much. I must no, I... It is urgent that I speak with your associate immediately. This is most inappropriate. We're involved in serious research here. Not really, we're just kind of hanging out. Yes, I've no doubt of its gravity. This, however, is a matter that cannot wait. Well, I'm quite sure I've never been interrupted like this before. Definitely... I suppose we'll continue this at some later time. When we can avoid interruptions. There's no need to get I all posh. Come with me immediately. Let's go. Okay, I'll come with you. I don't understand what's going on. More importantly, I'd like to know why he's Oh, sorry, I skipped one of the lines of text there. So we're going to go have a little chat with him and find out exactly what it is he wants. Okay. Technically, that is true, but I still report to the old Mary Dominion, and I cannot ignore the situation. Don't worry. You can return to your petty squabbles and meaningless research as soon as this matter is resolved. Yes, to talk all official and educated like. Anyway. Basically what he's saying is a member of the Sigic Order here, which if you watch the second episode was the guy that appeared to us in that weird dreamlike state under Sarthal. Now, he's here. You are going to speak to this monk and find out why he is here. Now. You are going and the to reason why I keep on casting the muffle spell over and over is to train my illusion. If you didn't already know that, you probably know that already. But yeah, you, I just want to get my illusion up, and it helps me level up faster. Because unlike Oblivion, there are no consequences for leveling strictly one skill over and over. And illusion isn't a very useful skill anyway, so it doesn't really benefit you that much by power leveling it. If you're talented. It is good to meet you in person. I'd simply like to talk to you. I've given us a chance to speak privately, but I'm afraid I can't do this for long. We must be brief. Okay. The situation here at your college is of dire importance, and attempts to contact you, as we have previously, have failed. I believe it is due to the very source of our concern. This object, the Eye of Magnus, as your people have taken to calling it. The energy coming from it has prevented us from reaching you with the visions you have already seen. The longer it remains here, the more dangerous the situation becomes. And so I have come here personally to tell you it must be dealt with. 
I'm afraid it's not that simple. You must understand the Sigic Order does not typically intervene directly in events. My presence here will be seen as an affront to some within the Order. As soon as we have finished, I will be leaving your college. I'm also aware that my arrival has aroused suspicion, especially in Oncano, your Thalmor associate. Nevertheless, my order will not act directly. You must take it upon yourself to do so. Not sure what's with all the floaties around the room. That's kind of weird. As you may have learned, this object, the eye, is immensely powerful. The world is not ready for it. If it remains here, it will be misused. Indeed, many in the order believe it has already. Rather, something will happen soon, something that cannot be avoided. We believe that your efforts should be directed towards dealing with the aftermath, but we cannot predict what that will be. I fear I have already overstepped the bounds of my order, but I will offer this. Seek out the Augur of Dunlane here in your college. His perception may be more coherent than ours. I will do that. I... I am unsure. He is somewhere within the college. Surely one of your colleagues must know his location. I am sorry I cannot provide you with further help, but this conversation requires a great deal of effort on my part. Now, I'm afraid I must leave you. We will continue to watch over you and guide you as best we can. It is within you to succeed. Never forget that. Okay, so now we have to go find the Augur of Dunlane, which is like, um, I'm not sure the best way to describe it, and that's the wrong way. We need to go back to the Hall of Elements, because Tolfdir knows where the Augur is. Um, but basically it's kind of like, I guess you could call it an oracle, and it knows some, it gives you wise advice and wisdom and stuff, so where did Tolfdir go? Here's Jizargo. Um, I'm not seeing Tolfdir. One thing that we can do, though, is I now have Jizargo as a follower. Because uh, what you do is you just you use his flame cloak spell that he gives you um, on undead creatures like three times, and then you just return to him, and he gives you a little bit of gold, and he says he'll follow you. So he's really good to have as a follower. Um, he can be very, very powerful at higher levels. He can do a lot of damage when he gets because he's a destruction caster um, so yeah he's, he's quite useful to have as a follower I'm just not going to use him yet because uh, last time I had Jizargo as a follower at a low level I killed him by accident and then I got kicked out of the college so yeah he was at very low health and I was swinging a two-handed sword and I kind of hit him in the face and his head separated from the rest of his body and he died so that is what can tend to happen to followers and the problem with uh, doing that to one of the mages guild people is Tolftir is not supposed to be I'm not sure where he is he's supposed to be in the hall of elements during the day but he wasn't there so we're just gonna wait till night because I know for a fact he sleeps in here and we're gonna stalk him but anyway yeah if you kill one of the mages guild followers because there are a couple of them there he is speak of the devil if you kill one of the Mage's Guild followers, you get kicked out of the Mage's Guild and you have to do a quest to rejoin it. That's what I'm trying to say. Well now, there's a name I haven't heard in some time. Star Wars reference. My goodness, it's been years since I've spoken with him. I suppose he's still down in the midden, but I haven't checked. Are you going to see him? Do tell him hello for me, won't you? Underneath the college. It's not the nicest place, so if you go down there, please do be careful. You gotta admit, Tolfdir kind of does sound like Obi Wan Kenobi. I need your help with something, something private. Uh, what do you need help with? Yes, but it needs to be kept quiet. I may have entered into an agreement with Enther. He had something I needed, so I traded him something of mine. It was a mistake, and now I want back what I gave him. It's an amulet that belonged to my family. I never should have given it to Enther. But he won't deal with me. Talk to him. See what it'll take to get my amulet back. Okay, we will do that, just not right now. But eventually we will go talk to Anthir and we will get Odman's amulet back. Um, and you can have him as a follower too. And there's also a female... I believe she's a dark elf. But yeah, there's a dark elf female and she's not that helpful as a follower because she's like 
specializes in restoration, but um, yeah, that's the other follower that you can have in the Mage's Guild. I think there's might be one more, but those are the three I know of. You can have on Onmond, Zargo, and the girl Dark Elf person. Not sure what her name is. But anyway, we're going to go down into the, the Midden, this unsavory looking place, and uh, go talk to, what's his face? The Augur of Dunlane. Torchbug Thorax. I'll take that. Um, there is not really anything down here except for the Atronac Forge, which is this thing right here, and you can use it to make Atronacs, and you can use it to spawn Daedra Hearts and stuff, so I guess that can be kind of useful. A um, couple... I thought there was supposed to be a couple Draugr down here. Oh, there you are. I was like, I knew there was some Draugr down here. Anyway. And uh, here's the Augur of Dunlane. No, this is the Min Dark, sorry. My apologies. You go into the Min Dark and then you find the Augur of Dunlane. But uh this is this was like one of my least favorite parts in the entire game when I first played it because there's a long conversation, you can't skip any of it. But since a lot of you guys said on my Oblivion playthrough, a lot of you guys got mad at me for skipping conversations, I'm not gonna be skipping any conversations, so every conversation is unskippable. Your perseverance. Will only lead to disappointments. Your harsh smoking voice will lead to lung cancer. Still, you persist. Very well. You may enter. Okay. Let me in. Hey, man. How's it going? I am that which you have been seeking. How do you know what I've been seeking? Your efforts are in vain. It has already begun. Okay. Those who have sent you have not told you what they seek. What you seek. So he's engaging in hyperbole a bit. Indeed. And so you have come looking, though you do not know why. Like I know I don't want to be here. You, you blindly follow a path to your own destruction. The Thalmor came seeking answers as well, unaware they will be his undoing. Your path now follows his, though you will arrive too late. This is one of the characters in game where they clearly didn't have a professional voice actor do the voice for it. It was just some One office guy speaking into... some guy around the office speaking into like a voice changer. He seeks information about the eye, but what he will find shall be quite different. His path will cross yours in time, but first you must find that which you need. Batman. This guy does kind of sound like Batman. You've got to admit that. He's got the, the harsh smoker's voice, just like... You know, Batman does. You, and those aiding you, wish to know more about the Eye of Magnus. You wish to avoid the disaster of which you are not yet aware. To see through Magnus's eye without being blinded, you require his staff. Events now spiral quickly towards the inevitable center. So you must act with haste. Take this knowledge to your Archmage. Alright, so we never have to visit the Augur of Dunlane again, unless we eventually do the Master Restoration quest. But I won't go into that, because uh, I won't be doing the Master Restoration quest anytime soon. Um, so we won't ever have to worry about talking to him again. But anyway, yeah, let's just go back to the Archmage, and, uh... I don't think this is the part where we go in Labyrinthian yet, there's one more dungeon... We have to do this, like, Dwarven dungeon first, but... After that we get to go into Labyrinthian, which is my favorite dungeon in the entire game, and I'm very much looking forward to doing that one. But, um, we'll get to that, probably not next episode, but maybe the next episode after that, or 
something like that. But yeah, but there is some sort of a uh, dwarven ruin slash dungeon that we have to explore first, and there's an ice raid. And there's no more ice race. Okay. I think I may have turned down the difficulty a bit. Um because I was in a dungeon that was extremely hard. Uh, I'll turn the difficulty back up off camera, because uh, we're just about to end off the episode here. But first, we need to go back to the Archmage and get the next uh, area of this quest. The best thing about playing a, um, Skyrim on PC, I have to admit, is the loading screen times. Because um, I don't know if this is true for newer Xboxes, but I know on my Xbox I just have like the classic... Xbox 360, um, the one that came out in 2006. Uh, the loading screen saved absolutely forever. Just even opening this door into Skyrim, it's like a good 30 to 60 second wait. It's awful. What you learn here will last you. Really? And what might that be? Your lips are not in sync with the words that you're saying. I'm sorry. What? Well, I'd certainly love to have such a powerful staff. But I'm not really sure that any of us need it. And how do you know of this? Did you really? And he specifically mentioned the staff of Magnus? I... I'm impressed with your initiative. Of course, someone will need to follow up on this. A most impressive attitude. Keep this up, and you'll do quite well for yourself. Something as specific and ancient as the Staff of Magnus. I'm not sure we'd ever find something like that. I seem to recall Mirabelle mentioning the Staff somewhat recently. Why don't you see if she can tell you anything? I'm quite pleased with your progress, you know. You've certainly proven yourself to be more than a mere apprentice. Well done. This circlet once proved invaluable to me. I hope it can be of use to you now. You know, I've never liked this guy, this character in the game much, and I'm glad he dies, spoiler alert, later on, but, um, he always sounds like one of those older gentlemen who's, like, way overly friendly, he's not, like, a creep, he's not gonna follow you home and look in your windows, but at the same time, he's just way too overly friendly to ever be comfortable around, and he keeps on, like, giving you random junk, like, he just gave me, uh, what was it, some kind of circlet, circlet of minor alteration, I think that's what he gave me. Or was it Mage's Circlet? Increase your Magicka. Um, anyway, I'm going to stick with... Oh, actually the Mage's Circlet is a bit better than Novice Hood. So, hey, we'll wear, we will wear the Mage's Circlet now. And look like a princess. Yes. Yes. Anyway. That's pretty cool. But we need to go talk to Mirabelle. Who's the real princess of the Mage's Guild. But yeah, as I was saying... Savos Aaron, he's just like one of those really un over friendly older guys, you know, and he, you just can't be around him without, you can't relax while you're around him is basically what I'm saying, so that's why I don't like him as a character in Skyrim, and he is going to die later on. I'm not going to tell you when, because, you know, that's enough spoilers for one day, but Please let's talk to the Archmage unless it's absolutely necessary. Wait, I woke up you in the middle of the night. And you're concerned about bothering the Archmage? It's very unselfish of you. Very not typical for a woman. Well, now that's an odd question. Why in the world would you be asking? I see. Well, yes, I suppose I did mention it. Though I'm not sure what he expects me to tell you. I only brought it to his attention a few months back when the Synod showed up here looking for it. They were apparently under the impression we were keeping it in a closet somewhere. Mages based out of Cyrodiil. They fancy themselves the imperial authority on magic these last few hundred years. My understanding is that all they really do is make noise in an attempt to curry favor from the Emperor. Lots of politics, little magic. I was quite surprised to find them on our doorstep. They seemed amiable enough, but their line of questioning made me... uneasy. It became clear they're trying to hoard powerful artifacts, looking to consolidate power. No one here does. The Synod seemed convinced it was somewhere in Skyrim. They inquired about the ruins of Mzulft, but that's all I remember. It sounded like they were heading there, though they were rather secretive about why. I suppose if you're intent on looking for the staff, there's a chance they might be in Mzulft yet. Just don't expect them to be cooperative. 
find the ruins of Mizolft. So that's what we're going to be doing next time. Um, so Mizolft is a dwarven ruin. You can kind of tell by the name. Um, so that means that when we go in there, there's going to be Falmer, which are one of the enemies that I do not enjoy fighting in this game. And lots of probably like dwarven spider workers and stuff like that. So anyway, that's going to be all for this episode. And let's see. Mizolft is probably somewhere that I have not discovered yet, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, Mizolft is way out in the middle of nowhere. So, um, the next time, when I come back next episode, I will be at Mizolft, and I will spare you guys the pain of having to watch me walk all that way. So, anyway, thanks for watching this episode, guys. Uh, really do appreciate it. Stay tuned to the next episode. Link to the playlist is down in the description. And I'll see you next time, so peace.